Limited. 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 My name is Nick Pace, and for a living, I'm a model in New York City. Being in shape is a big part of my life. I need to find something that's really into fitness, really nice body, and uh, spirituality is important for me also. To really fall in love with somebody, you really need to know who they really are inside. A lot of people at first, when they see me on the outside, they think I'm just all about looks. So it's a real challenge sometimes for me to actually find dates. I expect chaos to happen in Cancun. How many guys actually have that opportunity to have four girls fighting over them? Cancun is so perfect because the water is beautiful and it's not green, it's not blue, it's, it's aqua. And you can do anything you want. It's a great spot. Right now I'm feeling kind of nervous. I know there's going to be about four beautiful women by my side in about three minutes. The girls are going to be left in the desk the first second we get down there and when he meets me. My name is Krista Coyle and currently I am working at a leather store as a sales associate. I love leather. I love to uh, look sexy and feel hot when I wear it. There's no question, hands down, he's going to choose me in the end. Hi! Hey! What's up, Hotshot? How are you? Good. What's up, beautiful? Pleasure to meet you. My philosophy to fighting is to stay very calm, and I think that's a really good technique as far as winning this guy's heart. My name is Alana Thompson, and I am a black belt in kickboxing and a blue belt in Gracie Jiu Jitsu. I've never used my martial arts on an unruly date, but I'm not really against trying that. I think I might want to spar with this guy. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. Mm, nice to meet you. My strategy is to do what I have to do. If a guy's worth it, I'll fight. My name is Lauren Baker, I'm a law clerk. I'm gonna be a lawyer shortly. I can be a little abrasive, I guess you could say, but people ask you all the time, if you could be anyone in the world, who would you be? I'd be me. I got the goods. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Good to meet you. I'm not a dumb blonde, but I am a cutesy flirt. My name is Alyssa Johnson, and I am a fun girl. Me and my girlfriends always go to the hottest nightclubs, never wait in line, and always close out the bar. I need a lot of attention from boys. All the other girls can just stay home, because I'm going to win, and there's no point in competing. Let me guess, Alyssa? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Nice to meet you. Mm, nice to meet you. Enjoying the weather? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's go over this way. Let's have a drink. Well, after I was introduced to all the girls, we immediately went over and had some lemonade. Yeah, let's have Thank a seat you. anywhere. Make yourself comfortable. Found out who the girls are and what they're all about. So. so I rightfully so waited to be the last one to sit down so I could pop right on his lap. Okay. Interesting. Tell me to Interesting. move. No, you can stay right where you are. Okay, good. <laughs> It's kind of cheesy, and uh, of course he wasn't going to say no. I thought that was a little forward. That means, hey, you know, I'm easy. I don't think it went over well with the other girls, but I don't think that's supposed to be my point. I asked the girls a question that helped me to get to know who they are, and I was pretty much just looking for what makes them unique. <laughs> okay, so, Alyssa, yes. what do you have that these girls don't have? I consider myself a package deal. Package deal? What do you mean by that? Because I'm cute, uh -huh. I have a great personality, and I'm just packaged. <laughs> All right. I could have said more about myself. I kind of regret that I didn't. So, Alana, what do you have that these girls don't have? Well, it, it'd be easier if I could show you. Oh, can I show you? Here, I'll move. I don't know. You can show me. Stand up for just a second. <laughs> I'm just going to do a kick. Is that OK? OK, yeah. Okay. Just don't kick me. I won't. Just stay perfectly still. OK. Wow, amazing. Yeah. Like so, so I can be your bodyguard. <laughs> yes, you can. When Alana did the kick, I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> Okay, so what do you have that these I girls don't have? I don't know if I can put my legs over my head, but um, I love to snowboard, love athletics. Recruited to play basketball in college, love competition, so I love, I'm gonna love today. Krista, she had so much to say that it was either that she had written something down beforehand or she thought of all the good things that she could get into one quick sentence. And you, what do you have that these girls don't have? Good I think pants. morals. Um, I work in a law firm. I have one year of law school left, which uh -huh. I find to be the treat. Law school is not as hard as they say it is, or right. maybe I'm just smarter. <laughs> um, and I guess that's it. Maybe she's teaching herself off the internet or something, I don't even know. She's a really educated person, which is definitely a big turn on. I need everybody to put on one of these life jackets. Thank you. And we're going to make our way over here. After we had the conversation, I pass out the life jackets to the girls, and then we all just walk towards the banana boat.
The way that Alyssa kind of pushed up her chest and asked Nick for help so innocently was so corny and so overdone. It was ridiculous. Oh, you know, help me, like, oh, I'm kind of a sissy girl, I need help. I just thought it was like a good opportunity for me to get like close to him and have him check out the bod. They got to loosen these up a bit. Probably. Pretty much had to loosen it up because she has a really, really big, nice chest. Right. He said he wanted to be near the back. Now, red flag went up. Am I behind you or? I got bit by the <laughs> Alana was going to sit in front of Nick, and I immediately backed up real quick. I definitely wanted to be uh, closest to him. I really wanted to get the seat in front of Nick. That was my, my big goal, and Krista stole it from under me. I asked Krista if I could have that seat and tried to slide in, but she said no and backed up into Nick, which, you know, I may have lost that one, but I'll win another. I think you belong up at the top. Yeah, I think so too. We need you to lead us. I want to sit back here. Immediately, as soon as she started going, uh, Lauren fell off. We hit a huge wave, felt a little nudge in my back, and uh, I went over. We saw a body floating in the water. I had to laugh, I couldn't help it. We didn't even notice she was gone until we got out about another 20 feet. That either tells me she's a really, really bad athlete or somebody who's cheating. I did lube myself up with tanning oil. And it was kind of good because they were like, why is this slippery? Alyssa was cheating. She pushed Lauren off the front, whipped me with that long blonde hair of hers. I didn't like push her, but I kind of could have helped her out. After Lauren fell off, uh, the jet skier picked her up and she was on her way back to the boat. The banana boat is really fun. I mean, you go fast and you bounce around a lot. I told the girls I'm looking for the person who's gonna hold on the longest, but... I was really looking for the girl who had the nicest body and who was having the most fun with it. So who did the best on the banana boat? No. I did! Huh? I throw her off. My right. hair whipped in her face and she can't see where she's going. Oh, so she had strategy. I had strategy. That was my strategy. strategy. I, I definitely had a strategy. I was whipping my hair in people's faces and I actually could have caught Lauren, but I figured why. After the banana boat ride, we're gonna play a little game of football. I would ask a question and immediately after asking the question, I would throw out the football. Whoever catches the ball doesn't have to answer the question. It's a great game because I'm going to learn more about the girls because they're going to answer some really intimate questions. Number of guys you've been with? <laughs> I got it! Yeah! I got it! <laughs> Ow! Sorry. I had the ball. Alana comes over and tackles me. Obviously didn't want to answer the question. They were on the floor wrestling for like five minutes trying to get the ball. Obviously they were trying to hide something because they wanted, they wanted that ball pretty bad. Hey, break it up. Come down now. Come down. Uh-oh, come for a mess that has She oh. kicked me in the face. I did All not. Right. Sorry, I didn't mean to. <laughs> Guess you slept way more people than I have. Uh-oh. I thought that was a very low blow. Who wants to go first? So, uh... I'll go first. I don't have any skeletons in the closet. I've been all right, with one. Let's see. Been with one, so it's all good. Just one? Hey, uh, do we believe that? Just one. Yeah. Come on. Uh, uh, hey. Maybe true. Maybe not. Nick didn't really buy that, and I don't know if the rest of us did either. I think she's lying. Okay. What about you, Alyssa? Three. Three? I don't know if I really buy that either. Lauren? Lucky number seven. Seven? Wow. The bad girl. My answer was just as honest as I am. I don't even know if that guy, many guys would sleep with her. Up next, it's time for the first cut. I think that he's going to eliminate Lauren because she just seems easy to me and kind of weak. I think a, that Nick may eliminate Krista. Possibly Alana because she was a little strong. In the beginning, I thought it was Alana, but now I think it might be Lauren. Who will Nick eliminate first? Find out next. Who do you think Nick will eliminate first? Will it be Krista, Alana, 
Lauren or Alyssa. So, is everybody having a great time so far? Yeah. Had a lot of fun so far, right? Yeah. I just want to say that everybody, each and every one of you is great. And this is a really tough decision for me, but one of you has to go. And it's going to be Lauren. You're so cute, but it just seems like our personalities don't go together. We just mm. don't play. Just a little bit quiet for me. I'm sure the other girls were not surprised and very happy. I think that Nick's decision was perfect. Lauren didn't really play the game right. I'm glad it was Lauren that had to go because ever since the get-go, she just kind of rubbed me wrong. I'm not quiet at all, and anyone who knows me knows that, so, oh well. Next, I leaded the girls towards the ball, and immediately Alyssa and Alana just grabbed me, one on each side. I got to hold on to his arm, which was amazing because it's this beautiful muscular arm. That's fine, they can go ahead and grab his hand because later tonight it's going to be more than a, just a hand grab with me and him. Since we are in Cancun, the party capital of the world, I thought it would be a cool idea for us to make some drinks, so everybody at once, you could just make, make a cocktail that describes your personality best and then just explain why. You gotta find my mixer here. You know how to do your body shots? Yeah. Do you do? You want to do one? I need you first. I asked first, actually. I asked Nick originally, and she butted in. Lay down. Uh-oh, what is she going to do? I asked Nick if he knew how to do a body shot. I thought it was a good idea, you know, to get it started. And she's like, okay, like, just lays him down on the floor. Like, who does that? She could talk the talk, but then when it came down to it, she was at loss. So I decided, hey, that's my opportunity. I got to lay him down for a tequila shot. I uh, put some uh, salt along his uh, happy trail on his stomach. You gotta lick the salt. Ooh. I think we need a little lime. We did make some uh, lippage contact, you could say. A good strategy, but a little bit dramatic. That was all my idea. She probably would never have thought of that if it wasn't for me saying body shot. So why does that describe you? Because it's spicy and it's a little bit on the wild side. All right. It's fun. What else do we have here? What is that? This is called the Atlanta banana. I don't go out and do shots and name them after myself. Can you handle a double shot, honey? I have to drink this? Yeah. Oh, you're going to have to drink this. You got something on your neck, so I'm going to have to get that off for you. How are you going to do that? So what do I have to do? I have to do the same thing? Mm. Well, it was my idea in the beginning to even ask him to do a body shot, so everyone was copying off of me. We were licking each other. That's always a good thing. Well, why does that describe you? Well... Are you harsh? I don't leave such a bad taste uh, in your mouth. I, ha I have a little bit of everything in me, so uh -huh. the nice mixture would show that I'm well-rounded, and um, I always share. Now, Alyssa, what do we have over here? Well... <laughs> <laughs> looks I yellow. Know, why you try? She didn't know what she was talking about or didn't even know what to grab off the table. I felt kind of bad for her. I don't drink hard liquor. I mean, I don't know how to mix anything. It's banana uh -huh. and it's vodka. It's very good. Oh, it sounds very, it's very familiar. <laughs> it was a, uh, a tacky, tacky ripoff of the Atlanta banana. Not only did Alyssa copy the same drink, but she licked the same spot on his neck that was mine. I'm thinking to myself, basically Alyssa might as well have just reached over and licked Atlanta. I'll drink it first, and then you can drink it. It's good. It's good stuff. Just swig it really not quite it. as good as I don't want to drink that. You wouldn't drink it, which is understandable because I took a sip of it and it was disgusting. Will you, you make us a drink? A, a drink? I already, have, I already have something for us prepared. Really? I think since we're in Mexico, okay. I have some shots of tequila prepared for us. Yes. Oh my god, there's a worm in it. Here we go. <laughs> oh, I can't do it with a worm. Guys, I'll throw up. Oh my god. <laughs> and I'm like, oh god, I see a worm staring at me. Just okay, drink first it. things first, I'm a vegetarian. Oh, I'm not eating worm. <laughs> when did she become a vegetarian? To Cheers. Okay, cool. Cheers. Have Cheers. fun Cheers. after Cheers. tonight. Have fun. Have fun again. Yeah, baby! <laughs> Did you guys smell the worms? She didn't 
even swallow it. Mm. Oh, I ate mine. What a worm. I'm not swallowing a worm. All of a sudden, she doesn't eat what's moving. I thought it was really lame because a worm doesn't even classify as an animal. I mean, I don't care, but I can't do it. <laughs> Which of these girls will Nick eliminate? I honestly think that Alyssa will be cut. I want to say Krista just because she was very forward. Alana, Fafana, Balana. Find out who gets cut next. Deluxe. One of these girls is about to be eliminated. Will it be Atlanta, Alyssa, or Krista? Ladies, we had a great time today, didn't we? Yes, yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Um, it's a really tough decision for me to make, but one of you has to go. Somebody has to be eliminated. It's really so hard for me to do this, but... <sighs> Alyssa, you have to go. Was it the whole worm thing? It is because of the worm. Honestly, yeah. I won't eat a worm for anyone. I wouldn't eat a worm for money and not a guy. It just am amazes me that he would actually pick two girls like that over me. I cut Alyssa because she seems like she was the least willing out of the girls to take any risk. Our true self came out. She wasn't real from the beginning. I think he made a big mistake because he's missing out on a great person. I'm a great girl and any guy's lucky to have me. In the next round, we're gonna be hanging out at Cancun's newest hot spot called Bulldog. And I'm looking for the girl's sense of style. I'm also looking for uh, the best dancer and the best kisser no competition, him and I are going to end up together in the end. Good luck, Krista, because you're really going to need it. The girls arrived. They look fantastic. Wow. 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 When we came around the corner and finally saw him, wow. He looked hot. I thought he looked fantastic. Estás guapísimo. <laughs> I said to Nick, estás guapísimo, which means that you are very handsome. She was a little scantily dressed for my taste. She dressed as if she was going to dinner uh, with some parents. You guys ready to go inside? Have yes. some fun? Yes, ready. All right, let's go. After we met, um, we had a couple drinks. So ladies, um, let's get down some nitty gritty. I already eliminated two girls, and there's two more left. So, I'm gonna throw a question out to you. Krista, name three reasons why I should not pick Alana. Why you shouldn't pick Alana? She was cheesy, a little bit fake a couple times throughout the day. I think Krista called me fake and cheesy because she couldn't come up with anything else to say. I really don't see that cheesiness that Krista was talking about. I think she's scared a little bit, trying to uh, spice up the competition. She decided to criticize that I was intimidated by her, which is not the case at all. I thought it was a little bit corny when she was saying uh, uh, a lot of uh, banana or her rhyming and stuff oh, like I'm that. Oh, I'm sorry. Banana. Atlanta banana. Atlanta we banana. We don't usually say the word banana in the uh -oh. U.S. So you know. Okay, she so her, her... She couldn't even pronounce the word banana to begin with. Is it my turn? Uh, all right, Alana, after hearing all that, what do you have to say? Three reasons why I shouldn't pick Krista. One of the things that she just said was what you see is what you get, and that's true. Because she's an attractive girl, but what you see is what you get. Throughout the day, I've noticed that uh, she kind of just sits back and we kind of doesn't smile, but waits for the cameras to roll before she really gets going. But I'm always going. So you see like a phoniness about her? I do see a phoniness. So you think she's a fake? Yeah. She may have labeled me as fake or phony. Like I said, she may have been threatened by my uh, physical or my other attributes. I kind of did sense a little phoniness, and I didn't notice that until she pointed that out. I don't like her shoes. I'm going to be honest with you. That is one reason. I just said it because I couldn't come up with anything else. Talk about being superficial. Talk and about... the third thing is that she didn't know how to pronounce the word banana. And I'm not really sure how difficult that word is for most people. And I'm sorry you're working through that. All right, let's dance. After hearing all that, music started pumping and we just started dancing. One of them lifted up my shirt, started kissing my stomach. And I thought that was very strange. We ended up dancing on the table, which was very interesting. Lana does have a bit of a party girl in her. She did this type of gyration where she looked as almost if she went into a seizure while she was dancing with him. 
just it was on the table alone. It was like she was playing to the crowd and not to Nick. When Lana decides to get down off the table and dances next to me, she stood by my side dancing the whole time. At the end, I had one final question. Now, this is something I think is really important for a guy. I need to know who is the best kisser. That is the easiest question you could have possibly asked. I just grabbed him and uh, jumped right in there and showed him what was up. It was a decent warm up for his hot kiss with me. He saved the best for last. I don't know, that's pretty good. My turn. That would have actually kept on going if Krista wouldn't have pulled him off. I started pulling it back away from her, kind of wiped off his lips at the end there, because that's where my lips belong. Both girls kiss great. Who will Nick kiss off? Atlanta or Krista? The final cut is next. Deluxe. Fun time inside, didn't we? Yes. Yeah. Great time dancing. Great. It's been such a fun day. I mean, I've had a great time with both of you. But, Alana, I'm sorry. Chris is the girl who won my heart today. I mean, she's fun, she's spontaneous, and she's a great kisser. <laughs> so, Thanks. definitely won my heart today. I think that Nick chose Krista because she was dressed a little more scantily than I was. I knew the contest was over as soon as I showed up. And I think uh, as soon as I saw Nick, I definitely knew that I wanted him to be mine. My only advice for the two of them is uh, not to go dancing in public because I really don't think they either of them were that good. <laughs>